According to the Redfield community, there comes a time in every woman's life when she reaches a stage that they call the wall. This is typically around age 30 when she realizes that her sexual market value is quickly declining and she's no longer able to compete with younger, more beautiful women for the attention of high value alpha males that she was sexual with in her early 20s. For some women, they will attempt to recapture the glory of their peak sexual market value years by being increasingly promiscuous with men. For most women, however, when they hit the wall, they'll trade in their short-term dating strategy of having sex with high-value alpha males and try and secure a beta male in a long-term relationship. Men that she ignored and dismissed when she was at her most desirable because they were boring like nice guys suddenly become attractive prospects for long-term partnerships because of their capacity to provide for her. According to the Red Pill community, women are mostly unable to confront the anxiety that comes from realizing her peak years are behind her. Instead, they'll rationalize this change in dating strategy as simply her maturing and growing up. Any thoughts? That's pretty accurate, really, I'd say. Um, yeah, and I think, I think by the time they get to 30, I think what they realize is that it's not all about looks and they actually are looking for somebody that, you know, that they're comfortable with and that they can fall in love with rather than what it is all this superficial looks thing. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Like in a young garden party and everything. Yeah, more young women go out and like experience everything. And when they're older it changes and they become more mature. Settle down I guess. Yeah. I think it can go kind of both ways, um, depending on what they've done in like their younger years. Um, I think that's a fair enough point. Like, if when you're like at your peak per se, like when you're still most confident, you're more likely to go for better things. So I guess when you like less confident in yourself, you're more likely to settle for less. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I think it's quite valid. Um, obviously, I'm not quite there yet at 30, but. Um, that is something that I guess I've even wondered about previously. Um, I think it, it does have a bit of truth to it. Yeah, I guess I kind of agree with that. I agree with that, yeah. 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 I'm not, I don't think I would be like that. Well, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess a lot of women kind of freak out when they think their clock is ticking. Gente, qual é o tipo de macho de vocês? Eu gosto daqueles que usam tornozeleira, bem chave, com a pinça. Eu, eu gosto só daqueles que, fique, que me deixam em casa e saem com os amigos pra beber, ó. Se lá. Vocês só gostam de gente que não presta, hein? Eu não sei, então, meu Oxe, filho. É a pior. É pior. É como todas as mulheres.